Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the newly elected President of the United States, Donald Trump, expressing his pride in the Kingdom's historical ties with the United States, which extend back over 120 years. He also expressed Bahrain's keenness in reinforcing its strategic relations with the U.S. His Majesty went on to wish Mr. Trump success in leading the United States and the American people to further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, patronised graduation ceremony of the 11th batch of Al Halia University, which was held at the Convention Centre of Golf Hotel this evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that developing the educational process and its outputs at the levels of government and private institutions and according to the highest standards and quality of systems is one of the government's priorities in the field of human development. He added that it aims at building national cadres capable of continuing the Kingdom's development march. His Royal Highness noted that the education sector in Bahrain had great success in quality and performance indicators as a result of a comprehensive strategy that aims at improving the quality of educational services to ensure that outputs are compatible with market needs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated the graduates and their parents, wishing them continuous success in their upcoming academic and professional careers. The Prime Minister hailed Bahraini youth for their keenness to excel in academic studies and to develop their knowledge and skills, adding that they will result in a positive impact on the development plans of the country. His Royal Highness stated that education is the roadmap for nations to reach prosperity and progress and that honouring graduates and outstanding students motivate them to exert more efforts leading to greater achievements. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted that the Kingdom enjoys educational institutions with high standards that match those available in developed countries. Such standards have contributed to graduating batches of alumni who are highly competent. Such graduates will also enable Bahrain to enjoy a top ranking in the field of human resource development. His Royal Highness added that there is a continuous process of evaluating laws and legislation for the purpose of providing the necessary environment that meets the needs of future education and training. His Royal Highness the Premier went on to laud the role of Al Halia University in elevating higher education in Bahrain, which he attributed to its high academic standards, wishing the university continued success. Founder and President of Al Halia University, University Professor Abdullah Al Hawaj delivered a speech where he voiced pride in His Royal Highness the Premier's attendance at the graduation ceremony, which reflects His Royal Highness's care and support for education in the Kingdom. The Dean of the University, Professor Mansur Al Hali, delivered a speech in which he congratulated the graduates and their families, and one of the outstanding students also delivered a speech. The ceremony also included an operata song expressing love and loyalty to the path drawn by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The graduates included holders of bachelor's and master's degrees from various colleges including information technology, business and financial management, engineering and research. إذا قلنا خليفة قال البحر والبر أبو الحكمة رجل دولة رجل أمة وبفكارة صعدنا بالحضارة خطوة بعد خطوة حتى صارت البحرين في عيون البشر قدوة
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the newly elected President of the United States, Donald Trump, wishing him continued success. His Royal Highness also hailed the relations between Bahrain and the United States and highlighted the joint aspirations to further enhance these relations in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the newly elected President of the United States, Donald Trump, wishing him continued success. His Royal Highness also expressed Bahrain's aspirations to reinforce the historic relations between the two countries and to further enhance bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece at Rafah Palace today. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's robust economic environment which is structured and built upon a modern regulatory framework. His Royal Highness added that this framework forms a key pillar of Bahrain's economic development and continues to successfully attract various investments. His Royal Highness then discussed the Kingdom's ongoing cross-sector diversification drive, which has been boosted by public and private partnerships, underscoring how these efforts have strengthened Bahrain's economic position. The Crown Prince concluded by welcoming the Crown Prince of Greece to the Kingdom of Bahrain, extending him best wishes for a successful visit. For his part, Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness. The Supreme Council of Health concluded a joint workshop with the World Bank on the implementation of the hospital autonomy. This comes as part of the Council's initiatives to set the appropriate infrastructure for the implementation of the National Social Health Insurance Programme, SEHATI. More details now in this report. A high-level workshop was organized by the Supreme Council of Health on Monday in coordination with the World Bank to highlight the supportive guidelines for the implementation of the social health insurance program, Sahati. The program aims to develop the quality, sustainability and accountability of the health services provided to the citizens. The uh, Sahati program actually, as I said, it is the national health insurance uh, program and actually the most important thing actually is to work on quality, uh, sustainability uh, and uh, you know efficiency of the system that is the main of, of, uh, you know uh, messages that we are trying to do in this and that's actually the main important point to actually to split between the uh, the provider and the uh, governor or the uh, you know organizer that is one thing and the other thing is to create a purchaser and a provider so the, the provider actually sell the purchaser and the purchaser actually uh, makes the insurance on the people and the expatriates the three-day workshop involves a number of seminars and group activities conducted by World Bank experts and catered towards the teams formed from the different entities involved in the implementation of the program. These include teams from primary health care hospitals, secondary health care government facilities, the Ministry of Health, the Civil Services Bureau and the Ministry of Finance. I, I think uh, it is very important to understand uh, the difference between when we talk about insurance system and social insurance system. You know, in Arabic, the wording is, 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 is clear. When we say the man, we mean that we assure people that we'll deliver a kind of services. To the Bahraini, he will not pay, and I stress that he will not pay for the basic services, which are the, the main important services that they are getting now and probably plus. What kind of differences that citizens will see, the Bahrainis, it is that we are we will be monitoring now from now on the real quality that is used will make sure the sustainability is there accessibility availability cabinet has endorsed the national health plan in october for the years 2016 to 2025 sahati or the social health insurance system is an integral part of this plan along with a number of objectives that aim to improve the healthcare industry and services in the kingdom 
Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received today the Pakistani National Assembly Speaker Sadar Ayaz Sadiq and his accompanying delegation in the presence of Deputy Interior Minister, the Chief of Public Security and the Ambassador of Pakistan to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Interior Minister welcomed the delegation and praised the deep-rooted bilateral brotherly relations, asserting the importance of such meetings in enhancing further cooperation. He briefed the Speaker of the Pakistan National Assembly on the role of the Interior Ministry in maintaining the security, order and safety of the people of Bahrain. He expressed appreciation for the role of the Pakistani community and their contributions in maintaining security and supporting the march of progress in the kingdom. The speaker expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Interior Minister, hailing the brotherly bilateral relations, affirming Pakistan's full support to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting also included discussions on topics of common interest and ways to bolster cooperation and coordination. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al Noemi, announced that the Gulf Corporation Council's Arab Centre for Educational Research has chosen the Kingdom of Bahrain to host the International Educational Conference to be held in April 2017 in recognition of the Kingdom's leading role in the development of educational services at both regional and international levels, as well as the numerous successes in embracing major events in various fields. Participating in the conference are a group of international expert educators from Europe, Korea and the GCC. The Minister of Education's announcement came at the GCC Arab Centre for Educational Research's meeting of the Board of Trustees, attended by the Director of the Centre, Dr. Suleiman Ebrahim al -Askari. The meeting discussed a number of educational issues of mutual interest, including Bahrain's experience in the application of the digital empowerment in education in public schools, which has received praise and appreciation as a pioneering experience in the Gulf. Dr. al Noemi expressed the Kingdom's pride in hosting such an event, affirming that the Digital Empowerment in Education project is an advanced level of His Majesty the King's Future Schools project, as it contributed significantly to the employment of information and communication technology in the teaching and learning processes. The director of the Arab Center for Educational Research went on to praise Bahrain's keen interest in the center's activities, emphasizing the steps made by the kingdom in the improvement of the quality of educational services, as well as the provision of education for all, which has been widely praised in a number of international reports. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza patronized the official inauguration of the Arab Cab Conference under the theme Product Dumping and Cable Industry, held in the Four Seasons Hotel with the participation of over 100 people from Bahrain and other countries. Present were the head of conference's organizing committee and chairman of the Arab Cable Manufacturers Association, that's ACMA, dignitary Hamid Rashid Al Zayani, a number of high officials and specialists. Dr. Mirza delivered a speech where he welcomed the audience and congratulated Al Zayani for being elected recently as chairman of the ACMA. He also thanked the organizers of the conference and said that for Bahrain to be the venue for the conference for the second time reflects the kingdom's leading role in attracting scientific, economic and cultural activities. The minister stated that this conference is a model of the productive cooperation between cable and wire makers and that it aims to attract Arab expertise in order to develop the technologies of making cables and electronic gadgets. The conference also serves as a meeting to exchange expertise and review the latest developments in the electrical cable industry. The Arab Cab meeting is one of the biggest industrial gatherings in the Middle East. Since its establishment in 2004, Arab Cab has held 11 conferences in Europe and throughout the Arab world. It comprises of companies that manufacture electric and phone cables as well as machines and tools used to manufacture cables. Uh, choosing Bahrain to host this uh, specialized uh, electrical, electrical cables conference is very important and shows the success of the government of Bahrain in attracting all types of conferences and exhibitions in Bahrain. And this is something which Bahrain has been working on for a long time. So in this case, the cables, electrical cables, of course, is a very important element in all electricity networks. 
Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority unveiled its theme, Our Country is Your Country, at the 37th World Travel Market 2016 exhibition, currently taking place in the British capital London, as part of its efforts to enhance the Kingdom's tourism status, both regionally and internationally. The exhibition was held at the Excel Centre in London and is considered the premier world event in the travel industry. The exhibition receives more each year more than 5,000 exhibitors from 182 countries and includes more than 50,000 senior officials and professionals in the field as well as government ministers and representatives of the media and the international press who visit the exhibition to meet, make deals and discover the latest ideas and trends in the international travel market. The exhibition is estimated to annually generate travel sector contracts worth more than £2.5 billion.